You are watching this video because you've been asked to come to a building called a court. This is so you can answer some questions about the things you told the police. This is called giving evidence and you are known as a witness. You have not done anything wrong. Young people like you come to court to answer questions all the time. It's a really important job. This video will help you understand what will happen at court when you answer questions. This is called giving evidence. After you have given evidence, there will be a trial. A trial is when what happened will be talked about by lawyers in the court. The judge is in charge at court and makes sure that everyone sticks to the rules. The lawyers are the people who will ask you questions about what you told the police. Your answers will be recorded and made into a video. Doing this is known as a pre-recorded cross-examination hearing and it means you don't have to go to the trial to give your evidence. If you have any questions or worries about being a witness, please tell the person showing you this video. So, to recap, you'll go to court as a witness. You'll be asked to give evidence about what happened and your answers will be recorded and made into a video. Can I visit the court before I come to answer questions? Yes, you'll be able to visit the court before you come to answer the questions from the lawyers. This will help you to know what to expect and where everything is in the court. An adult, like your parent or carer, can come with you too. You'll be able to see the video link room where you can practice talking to people using the video equipment. If you want, you can look at the courtroom where the judge and the lawyers sit. Let's recap, shall we? You can visit the court to see the courtroom and video link room beforehand. When you're there, you can practice talking to people using the video equipment. What happens before I come to court to answer questions? A day or so before you come to answer questions, you'll watch the video the police made when you talk to them. This is to help you remember what you said. What happens on the day that I come to court to answer questions? The people at court will make sure you are safe. First, you will go and sit in the waiting room with the adult who came with you. After a while, the judge and lawyers will come to see you in the waiting room to say hello. The judge and the lawyers usually wear wigs and gowns, but they may ask you if you would prefer them not to wear these. When it's your turn to answer questions, you'll go into a separate room. This room is called a video link room. In this room, there is a TV with a camera on top. You might have somebody helping you in the video link room while you talk about what happened. This is somebody called an intermediary or someone from the witness service. The role of the person from the witness service is to help you to understand what is happening all the time you are at court. The intermediary's job is to make sure you understand the questions and that people can understand your answers. There'll also be an usher who helps the judge run the court. The judge and lawyers will be in the courtroom, which will also have a TV screen in it. You'll be able to see them through your TV screen and they'll be able to see you through theirs. It's similar to Zoom or a WhatsApp video call. The first person you see on the TV screen will be the judge. The judge will ask you to promise to tell the truth when you answer the questions. The next person you see on the TV screen will be the lawyer who will ask you questions. You might have questions from more than one lawyer, but you will be told how many lawyers will be asking you questions. Sometimes, instead of using the TV screen, the lawyers might come into your video link room to ask you questions. Let's sum this up, shall we? Before you answer questions, 
you'll get to meet the judge and lawyers. Then you'll go to the video link room, where the lawyers will ask you questions through the video. There will be someone there with you to make sure you understand the questions. What to do when the lawyer asks you questions? Listen carefully to each question. Take your time. Say what's happened and try not to leave anything out. Do not make anything up and do not guess. The most important thing is to tell the truth. If you do not understand a question, just say, I don't understand. If you've forgotten, just say, I've forgotten. If you do not know the answer, just say, I do not know. If you feel tired or need the toilet, ask the judge or intermediary for a break or time out. You are doing a very important job by answering the questions. Thank you. After you've answered your questions, you can go home. So, remember, listen carefully to the questions you are asked. Always tell the truth or say if you don't understand a question or don't know the answer. You can ask for a break or go to the toilet whenever you want. Then after you've answered the questions, you can go home. What happens after I'm finished? There will be a trial. You do not have to come to the court for the trial. The video recording of your interview with the police and the recording of your court evidence will be shown at the trial on the TV screens in the courtroom. The jury will watch your video. The jury are a group of people who will think about the information shared in the court and decide what should happen to the person accused of a crime. If you're worried or have any questions, please tell the person showing you this video. Shall we recap? After you have made the video of you answering questions, there will be a trial. The video will be shown to a group of people called a jury, who will then decide what should happen to the person accused of a crime.